that's an uncomfortable situation, isn't it? That now you have to speak your truth. Monica, you, ra you rose your hand. Let me, I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm trying to unmute you. Mute myself. Yeah, hi. 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 So you've had that situation happen? Yes. <laughs> what, what did you do? I tried to, uh, to not say anything about it, but I tried to find another way to say it. So did you succeed? Yes, I did. Uh, so what did you do? How did you say it? I don't remember how I you did it. Right. I often do uh, that when I have, a, uh, you, you call it a white uh, lie. White lie. Yes. Uh, right. And I, I try to get around it. And sometimes I'm lucky to do it and sometimes I'm not. Right. Exactly. I get it. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else? Anybody wants to? Yeah, Rosalie? I wonder why, why people trust more a liar than that trust you when you say the truth. They, don't, they will listen to you when you lie. That's okay and they get it. But if you tell the truth, that's the way to lose a friend. Yeah. Well, generally is that it gets very uncomfortable when you have to speak your truth to somebody. And a big part of it is the fear of being rejected. So we're carrying this fear of not being loved and not being accepted. And again, this goes back into our conditioning. But the fear of not, not being accepted, being rejected, and the fear of confrontation, that there may be some kind of confrontation here. And that holds us back. So, for example, I come from a culture that, uh, as I was growing up, there was a lot of do's and don't do's. And there was a lot of don't say this and don't say that. Like, okay, Zarathustra, um, when you're an elder walks into the room, the younger people have to get up. They have to stand up as a, as a form of respect to an elder person. And if you don't do that, that's bad, okay? Um, when... Uh, something's wrong and you don't like it, uh, you're not supposed to say it, say that. Or if some food is being offered to you, you don't like the food, you're supposed to eat it and not say you don't like it. So a lot of these things coming from our upbringing and our culture is cultural. So uh, some of the things coming from fear well, we don't speak our truth. But what happens when you speak your truth? When you finally tell, tell somebody, whether it's time for separation. So let's say you want to separate and it's not happening. You're in a marriage union or a relationship or whatever is the story. It doesn't matter. The story does not really matter. But you're in this situation that you have to speak your truth. Now there is different things can happen. Some people, you, and you may be close to them, but they emotionally haven't matured yet. There are people that you do come across in this life that they may be 40 years old, they may be 50 years old, uh, 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever. And when you do confront an issue with them, their reaction is they shut you down. 
and they cut you off completely from their lives. Uh, and I've noticed that they may be stuck at age five, six, seven, and so you may be dealing with this person, this man, this woman who's 50 years old, even older, has got gray hair. But inside, emotionally, there is a five-year-old, six-year-old child. And the way they're used to relate with the world is when you say something to them they don't like, okay, you criticize, because if you're in a relationship with anyone, any kind of relationship, there has to be room for criticism. There has to be room for disagreement. There has to be room for argument in a relationship. There has to be space for it. You know, and you can criticize someone depending how you criticize, but if you want to have a healthy relationship, you have to allow the other person, whether it's a friendship or relationship, whatever that is, that they can express what they feel about you. Uh, even if that expression comes as criticism. Now, it depends how you criticize. You can do it lovingly, but there has to be space. There has to be room for it. If there is no room for it, then growth cannot happen. You cannot evolve and go to the next level in your relationship because there is no room for criticism or there is no room for disagreement. I cannot disagree with you because the moment I disagree with you, the other person goes back to their emotional self of five or six years old and they throw a tantrum. They become like a child and they get angry, they get upset, they shut the door, they walk away, they won't listen to you. So now there is no room for growth or disagreement. You don't disagree or you need to tell them about a habit they have. They're, there is something they do that really bothers you and you want to share that with them. So sometimes you're dealing with somebody like that. Other times, in my experience, is when I uh, criticize somebody or I disagree with them or I tell them my truth about how I feel about it. I've noticed either I go in a deeper relationship with this person so we go, uh, in the beginning there could be an initial reaction by them, but then I've noticed that later on we really appreciate each other and our, we really bond with each other and we go deeper in this relationship with one another because I spoke my truth to them, they heard my truth, initially maybe they reacted to it, but a day or two after they come back and they tell me you're right or I appreciate you telling me what you told me. So then we're going into a deeper level. That's one scenario. Another scenario is, as I said, they may just shut down completely to you and they cut you off. And then if that's the case, then that relationship is really, it's better it ends now, wherever you're at, because you have no room for growth. You can't go anywhere with it.